Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today i wanted to share with you guys my perfume empties for 2022 i actually did not finish that many perfumes this year but i do have some of my empties from last year to show you guys because i am making it a point to kind of hold on to my perfume empties so that i can reference them and so that i can also show you guys how much my empties are growing year by year this year like i said i didn't finish a whole lot of perfumes but that was simply because i did a really great job of rotating through my perfume collection this year so you guys know I started doing perfume trays earlier in the year and it's a way for me to rotate through my fragrances and use different things instead of always reaching for and gravitating towards the same scents and just letting the rest of my collection sit and collect dust. So that's part of the reason why I didn't go through as many perfumes this year. But also I did make some really, really good dents on a lot of perfumes. So maybe that means in the near future, I can go ahead and finish them off and I'll have like a ton of empties uh, for next year, maybe. I also will be doing my perfumes I'm almost out of would I repurchase type of video and for that video I think I have about eight perfumes to talk about so I feel like that's a good number of perfumes that I'm actually close to finishing so I will be doing that video coming up here soon definitely stay tuned for that one but if you guys want to see the perfumes that I emptied out this year plus some others then just keep on watching so they are all in this bag here and looking at them I'm actually really excited about the perfumes that I finished so uh yeah let's just get into it and start talking about them so the first one is actually going to be one that I talked about so much that you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about I talked about it um before I emptied it I talked about it during the entire time that I was using it when I emptied it I talked about it just so much and then I repurchased it and I'm still talking about it and I'm still using it but I will say I'm not using my second bottle as fast as I have been using my first bottle because I don't want to burn myself out on the scent but this is none other than Billie Eilish and yes I finished this perfume literally within like two months I believe I think I finished it over the summertime so it was like two months from when I bought it and I love this fragrance it is a beauty so there's a little tiny bit of juice left but it's really not a lot I do like to keep a little bit of perfume in my empties just in case I need to reference it I really could use that tiny tiny bit if I could get it out because I have a new bottle but this perfume is amazing to me. I remember the first time I smelled it in Ulta from the cap of the tester. I was like, why does this smell menthol-y and like super spicy? You know, and this is supposed to be like a vanilla gourmand fragrance. But I had to wait for that dry down, that beautiful dry down where it turns into like almost like a spicy hot chocolate with a lot of vanilla whipped cream on top. Super, super good, unique, beautiful vanilla fragrance. One of my favorites, absolutely hands down. This moved up to top five for sure for me. I love this fragrance, which is why I repurchased it. This was a 50 ml bottle and I feel like I ran through it. Although people feel like it's super easy to go through a 50 ml bottle, listen, not when you have close to 200 perfumes, it's not. It's not super easy, but I did finish that one and I'm super happy about it and the fact that I have another one. The next perfume I have to show you guys is my Juicy Couture Gold Couture. And I did finish this one up recently. I believe I finished this one up at the beginning of fall. So this one is nice. I would only repurchase this at like Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx or something like that because you can get it there for super, super cheap, 20 to $30. So this was a 50 mil. Um, when I first bought this, when I was on my perfume journey, I was expecting this to be a super, super, super sweet, just plain gourmand fragrance because that's how a lot of people describe it. And it's not, this is more of a berry fruity fragrance with the addition of caramel. So when you spray this and depending on your skin and how, how this dries down on you, you're either going to get like super heavy berries and a little bit of caramel, or you're going to get like an even balance of the two. You're going to get berries and caramel. And that's pretty much what I got from this. I got an even balance of berries and caramel, but because of how this uh, fragrance was hyped and how it was marketed and everything, even on Fragrantica, the top accord is caramel. I expected this to be a lot more caramel heavy than it was, but with that, I did grow to really, really like this fragrance. So it's not that I don't like it. You know, I do really enjoy it. And like I said, I would repurchase it, but definitely on a discount. It's not something that I need to run out and get right now, but just like casually browsing and then I see it, I would pick it up. Okay, so this is another perfume that I feel like I finished this year. I'm not too sure, but this is my Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. 
I believe I finished this one earlier this year and I grew to really love, love, love and enjoy this fragrance. And I definitely do need to repurchase this one, especially for the spring and summer of 2023 because I want to have this one. This one was so beautiful with that raspberry, that coconut, that macaron. This is such a beautiful, tropical, fruity, sweet type of fragrance. And now I definitely associate this with like spring and summer. So those would be the times that I would want to wear this fragrance again. Smelling it now is definitely bringing back some nostalgia. So I do want to have this perfume. This was only a one ounce. And once I actually started like really getting into using this one, it went quickly. So maybe the next time I get this, I will get the 50 ml so that I can enjoy it for the spring and summer. But yeah, this is one that I really, really enjoyed and would definitely repurchase. Okay, so the next Ariana Grande fragrance that I know I finished this year, this is Ari and I just repurchased this one. This is such a good scent and to me, this one is one of my favorites. This is definitely one of my top favorite Ariana Grande fragrances. So it would probably be Cloud and then it would be this one and then it would be Thank You Next. So I, I really, really enjoy this one. To me, this one is so much better than Sweet Like Candy. And I think it's because I get so much marshmallow out of this fragrance. So to me, it just stays the same the entire time that you're wearing it. You're going to get that tartness from the beginning of the grapefruit, the raspberry, the pear, and then it dries down and you still get those fruity, fresh kind of tart notes, but you get a lot of marshmallow as well. And this one is a little bit more of a like powdery marshmallow but it's a pretty powdery sweet marshmallow, like super, super sweet. So I love this one. I really do enjoy this fragrance and I'm happy that I went ahead and repurchased it because I did miss it in my collection. If I miss a fragrance, then I know that I should definitely repurchase it. Okay, so then I think, I think this one was from this year as well. So this is my Ascada Agua de Sol. And I feel like I had this in my Project Use It Up earlier this year. So I really just wanted to finish this off. This was supposed to be a fruity, ice creamy, sweet, floral type of scent. To me, it only smelled watery, tropical, floral. I didn't get any of the creamy ice cream notes from this one. And even the fruitiness, it wasn't as sweet and fruity as some of the other Escada fragrances that I have that I really, really enjoy. So for that reason, I would not repurchase this one. I was not like necessarily enjoying going through this one when I had it. And that's why you guys can see that I didn't even leave a little bit in this bottle to like revisit because this is one that I know I did not enjoy. And it's, it's truly sad because I do like the Escada fragrances, but this one was a no-go for me. Um, I also finished Burberry Brit. So this is one that I really, really enjoy and I just have not seen it at Marshalls or Ross or anything like that. I did really enjoy it while I was using it. This one was super, super pretty with that lime, almond, almond sugar type of scent. It was just very unique. This was definitely one of the first perfumes that I got when I was like going on my perfume journey and I was just buying a bunch of perfumes all at once. And this one was super, super nice. I had got this one at Marshall's and it was just such a beautiful fragrance that I took a blind by chance on and it happened to be super, super good. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this one, but it is one that I would repurchase. You know, if I just happened to see it and I was out casting casually shopping, I would repurchase that one because it was really, really nice. Classy, feminine, soft. Like I said, the almond and sugar and everything was just really pretty in that one. Um, then we have my girl, Valentino Donna, born in Roma. This one, I believe this was finished last year, most definitely not 2022, but 2021 because I have since repurchased another 50 ml bottle and that one is close to being gone as well. So I did leave a little bit of juice in this one, but again, I don't know why because I already repurchased it, like I already have it again. But y'all know that this is my top favorite scent of all time. I still have not gotten that same feeling that this perfume gave me when I first smelled it. I still have not gotten that feeling from another perfume, which is why this one will remain my top number one. Nothing has been able to knock this fragrance down. And so, yeah, she's just gonna always be my number one until I feel that way about another fragrance. And I still thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. It still smells good. It's over there on my perfume tray right now. And I just, I really enjoy this scent. 
it brings back memories and nostalgia every time that I smell it. It smells like a grown, sexy woman. It embodies everything that I want to smell like. And so I just, I have to have this one in my collection. And eventually I will go through my second bottle, but I'm not rushing because I don't want to burn myself out on my favorite fragrance because it can happen. No matter how much you love a scent, no matter how much is your favorite, you can burn yourself out on it, especially if you're the type that gets tired of scents fast. So I don't want to do that to myself. So I am taking my time on using my second one, but it is almost done and it probably will be gone next year. Valentino Donna is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, this travel size I did finish up this year. This is the YSL Mon Paris. I did not enjoy this fragrance while I was using it. And I'm glad that I got the travel size of this because if I would have got like a 50 mil or even a 100 mil of this fragrance, I would have hated trying to go through that fragrance because I realized that there's there's some scent notes in here that I can't get with at all. Like Mon Paris does not smell good to me. And I don't know if it's because it has three different types of patchouli in it or what. But I found myself just not liking this fragrance. And it's crazy because when I was in the store and I was first smelling this fragrance, this was when I was first collecting perfumes. When I smelled this fragrance, I thought it was so good. I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty, so feminine, so me. I need to have it. I need to have it. And then so I bought the travel size spray of it. And I'm so glad that I did because... This one is a no-go. I do not like YSL Mon Paris. I would not repurchase it. You know, if later on in the future I revisit it and I find myself liking it, I will pick up another travel size spray. And if I find myself not liking the travel size spray, then that's how I know like, yo, this scent is just not for me. I need to stop trying. It's not for me. Um, one more travel size that I went through this year and I actually finished this off recently. This is Killian. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. So I love this fragrance. This was on my perfume tray for December and I knew that I was going to finish it because there was not much left in this at all. But this is beautiful. Such a pretty herbal, earthy marshmallow fragrance. And it is just so different and so unique. I had no idea that I would really enjoy this fragrance like how I do. I definitely need to buy this in a full size. It is just so pretty with that green tea note that meshes really, really well with the marshmallow. Super, super pretty. So I finished that. And then the last two fragrances, I know that I did not finish these this year. I finished these last year. So we have my Aqualina Pink Sugar. This was just a one ounce. And this was my first bottle of Aqualina Pink Sugar that I had ever went through, ever tried, ever used. And that is when I really discovered that I love this fragrance. And so when I bought it again, I bought the big 100 ml bottle of it and that one is like a third of the way gone because I really do enjoy this fragrance but y'all know I have since started enjoying the Truly perfume which is over there on my wall I started enjoying the Truly one more than Pink Sugar Pink Sugar will always have a place in my collection and in my heart but I enjoy the Truly one a little bit more than Pink Sugar and then this one I went through last year this is the Beyonce Heat Kissed I believe that's what it's called Beyonce heat kiss perfume and again this was one that I did not enjoy I used it it was in my project use it up but it was like very bland very forgettable and while I was using it I didn't enjoy it it didn't last long so I really had to overspray with this one and because it was just a 30 mil you know I ran through it like really really quickly because of how many times I had to overspray but yeah this is in my empty so I wanted to show it to you guys but you guys, that is everything. Those are all of the perfume empties that I went through for 2022, plus some other ones. Um, I'm really excited to see what 2023 is going to bring as far as my perfume collection and new fragrances, fragrances that I empty and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you're new, you should definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.